Alright, ladies and gents, after a couple weeks off, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be doing the door and window assignment in the AutoCAD web app, okay? So as you can see, we've got a window on the left, we've got a door on the right, we've got some hinges. It's a six-panel door altogether. Um, this one's actually missing the rest of its panel, but that's okay. We're going to do that anyways. And we've got a doorknob, and that's pretty much it, all right? So what we're going to do in the web app is we're going to be going back and forth between these dimensions and the actual uh, web app itself in order to draw this drawing, all right? So this is what it's going to look like without all the dimensions. My students are going to add dimensions at the end, and we're going to actually draw it outside here and then bring that into the title block, then put dimensions on it, then output a PDF, and then post it to our classroom, okay? So here we go. The window is a 4.5 by 3.5 by 4.5 by 3.5 box that it starts with. So you can do this one of two ways. I suggest the second way. The first way is you can just use lines and go 3.5, stay on the green line, 4.5, 3.5, and then close. The other way would be to use a rectangle. Click anywhere on the screen, move your cursor in the up and right direction I don't know why my controller... Okay, so mine won't go that way. I don't know why. That's strange. Um, that should not be a problem for you guys. I just did it before, and I think my mouse is acting up. Maybe the battery's dying or something. But um, anyways, so you're making a box here, and this box is going to be 3.5. You're going to hit Tab, and it's going to go to 4.5, and then you hit Enter. Now, let me get this other one out of the way a little bit here. So now my second option, the rectangle that I did, why can't I draw past that point? That's weird. Oh, there it goes. So this is the rectangle one, and this is the lines one. In order to draw this window, you've got a bunch of offsets that come in. Okay, so you're going to offset one quarter on the bottom, one quarter on the left, one quarter on the top, one quarter on the right. But in order to do that with the lines, you'd have to do the offset four times. So you'd have to go top in one-fourth, right in one-fourth, bottom in one-fourth, left in one-fourth. And then you'd be left with your corners like this where you'd have to do a fillet radius zero in order to clean the corners or do a trim and click on the two lines that you don't want and then connect the corners with a diagonal line. It's a lot easier to do with a rectangle because when you go to offset that rectangle, since it's all one shape, it's gonna bring all those lines in together. So you're going to go one-fourth in. The next one is going to be a three-sixteenths offset. And then you're going to take a line tool and connect the corners. Now there is one problem with doing the rectangle. The next part, where you actually make the window, pa the window panes, the window panels, is that these are these boxes there's 12 of them all together are 7 8 wide by 7 8 tall and I want to only be able to offset this line up 7 8 up 7 8 and then I want to take this line and go left 7 8 left 7 8 but I can't do that right now because this inside shape is all still one shape so there's a new tool that you're going to use. I don't think we've used it before. It's called Explode. Maybe we've used it. I can't remember. Um, you're going to click on the shape and hit Enter, and that explodes it back into four different lines. So now I can do Offset. I can go off of... Man, my mouse is acting weird. There we go. You're going to go 7 8 up twice. Then you're going to go to the top. And you're going to go 7 eighths down twice. The reason why we go off of the bottom twice and off of the top twice instead of going all the way across is because you want this spacing between here. That spacing is a 1 eighth spacing and you're going to leave that there. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to offset off of this right line and you're going to go left 7 eighths and then you're going to go left again 7 eighths. And then finally 
trim down the middle, take this line, extend that blue mark to the left until you get an intersection, extend this one until you go to the right and get an intersection, and then the window is done. All right. Now the door is one inch away, so we're going to do an offset off of this line. Now you'll notice again that we have this issue where it's all one line or all one shape. It's called a polyline, and that's not going to work for us. So we need to once again explode the outside shape, and then we're going to do our offset of one inch. So click this rightmost line, go to the um, go to the right one inch, and then we'll start drawing our door. Use lines. You're going to go off the top left corner. The door is also 3.5 wide. Uh, the height is a funny number. It's 6 and 7 over 8. So you're going to do 6 minus sign 7 over 8. And then you're going to go left 3.5. Man, oh man. 3.5. Now, I wouldn't suggest drawing another line here. I would suggest taking the one that you already have because you don't want too many lines. You, If it looks like one line, you want it to be one line. Take this mark, bring this down until it hits the other one, and now we have the outside part of the door. Next thing, offset tool. Offset, it's going to be the same look as the outside of the window. You've got trim going around the outside of the door. So you're going to offset in by one quarter on three of the sides. Left, top, right. Now again, if you want... I don't know if this if this one will make it easier or not, but you can take just these three lines and type join, and that puts them together where now when I offset, I can offset in by one fourth, and I end up with all of them done. And then I would just connect the top left corner, make a diagonal, and the top right corner. Uh, next thing, the hinges, okay? We're not going to be able to offset these lines now that they're one, so I would explode that again. And now we're going to make the hinges. The hinges look like this. They are 1 16th tall by 1 16th wide, and there are four of them all together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an offset. We're going to go off of this line down 11 16ths. Then we're going to go, and actually we're going to take this line. And we're going to grab the, the right side of it because the hinge is on the left side of this line, not on the right side. So we're going to take the right part, if I can get to it, grab the blue mark and bring that left until it hits the outside. So now we've got the line where we want it. Offset. Take this line, go down 1 16th, and you're going to do that four times. you should end up with five lines and four spaces. One, two, three, four, five, four spaces. Next thing is that the hinges are 1 16th wide. So you're going to use the offset tool. You're going to go 1 16th. Oops, sorry, don't type your number yet. Offset. Right line here, 1 16th. And now we trim. Trim the bottom. Trim the left. Trim the top. We got one hinge. Select that hinge with a box. So you're going to click and hold and draw around this box or these four boxes. Do copy. And you're going to copy that down to the other ones. So it's going to go, you can click anywhere you want for the base point, but you're going to go down 2.75. And then you're going to do the same thing on this one. Select this one, copy and go down 2.75. Uh, you know what, that's the wrong number, hang on. That should be two and a quarter, I'm sorry about that. So let's get rid of these. For some reason, I it, it's actually AutoCAD right now. I can't get to the bottom part of the screen with my mouse and I can't get to the right side of my screen. So that's why I'm working in this top left corner here. Um, sorry about that. So select these, copy. Grab anywhere, go down 2.25. So I had that number wrong. Then take these, do the same thing. Copy, go down 2.25. And now the hinges are done. Now the inside panels. Offset. 
They're going to be a 9 sixteenths offset off of this left line going to the right. I think I typed my number first, which you shouldn't do. I'm always used to the software, so that's why I'm always doing that. It's, it's backwards in the web app. 9 sixteenths to the right. Offset again. New line. 5 eighths. And you're going to do that 5 eighths three times. 5 eighths. 5 eighths. That gives us a 9 sixteenths also at the end. So it's this space is 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 5 eighths, 5 eighths, 9 sixteenths. Now you're going to take this top line and you're going to go down 5 eighths three times. 5 eighths, 5 eighths, 5 eighths. And then you're going to go down off of this one. We're making like a big tic-tac-toe board that we can trim when we're done. You're going to go down 1.75. That's for the big panel, right? Then you're going to go down 5 eighths for the spacing between the big panels. And then you're going to go down another 1.75 for the bottom panel. Okay? All right, so trim. You're going to trim around the outside. You're going to trim down the middle. You're going to trim between the panels. And now we've got our six panels. Uh, before you go any further, let's do the doorknob. Doorknob goes on this bottom right corner of this panel. And you're going to type 1 over 8 for the radius. Now the doorknob is not on the panel, so grab the doorknob. Use the move command. Click anywhere, it doesn't matter where. Move to the right on the green line, 5 sixteenths. Last thing here, last two things. Select all of these lines, if your mouse allows. Not the doorknob, though. Um, I don't think I can deselect things in this one, so let's move this up. Let's try that again. Alright, like that. And you're going to type... Uh, you're going to type join. Okay. What join is going to do is it's going to make 24 objects, 24 lines into six polylines, six boxes. So I've got one, two, three, four, and they're all one shape, five, six. Now when I go to offset those in by a 16th, because you can see the panels are supposed to be like this, they go in one sixteenth. You won't have to do the trimming. You'll connect the corners. So you're going to offset 1 16th on all of these. One sixteenth. Now I'm not going to go around and do all of them. It wouldn't really make any sense to do that. Just do the same thing on all six panels. Take the outside, move in, 1 16th. When you're done with all those, go to your line tool and connect the corners all the way around. This is more time consuming than it is hard. It's very easy to draw these lines. All right, all the way around all of them. So then the door and the window are done. We just got to move them into our title block. So let me get rid of what's in here. What you're doing for moving into the title block, which I've done in previous videos, is you're going to go from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. And you're going to do the same thing on the door and window. Top left. Bottom right. Select the door and window all together. Use the move command. Make sure that you're getting the triangle on the midpoint of this diagonal line. And move that over and get the triangle on the other diagonal line. And then erase the diagonal lines. We are about 98% of the way there. Take this line. Drag this all the way to the left. Because the trim runs along the floor as well. Ooh, this is acting up big time. There we go. Alright, that line's going to go all the way to the left, all the way to the right. You're going to offset that line up by one-fourth. You're going to trim here in the middle of the door and here. And then you're going to throw some dimensions on there. I think you're going to need... Let's do a couple. 
Let's go with the 3.5 of the window. 4.5. Oop, I missed. If you ever get a funny number like that, it probably means that you missed the corner like I just did. So just click on that and just drag it back to the corner, and it should be 4.5. All right, so we'll do those two. Uh, give me one of the panels left to right. Give me a panel up and down. Um, give me the height of the door all the way to the ground. Um, give me the size of one of these and the height of one of these. And I think that's pretty much it. All right, that's all we really need. Okay, so I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.